All right, so now we're going to be using the central limit theorem to solve uh, a real life problem. So there are four important, important points about the central limit theorem. So we went through those already. Um, so we just have these up here for reference. And then we have our question down here. So we're using the same numbers and we're just going to ask kind of questions about it. Excuse me. So the distribution of pay in Ireland hourly, we've seen this, it's not normally distributed, has a mean of 22.05 euro and a standard deviation of 10.64 euro. First question. What is the probability that if you choose one person at random that they have an hourly earning of greater than 23 euro? And the second question, if you take a group of 30 people and get their mean pay, what is the probability that it will be greater than 23 euro? So the first question, we actually can't answer it. All right. So it's a little bit of a trick question. And the reason is because it's not normally distributed, we can't use the mean, the standard deviation, and this 23 euro to try and answer it because it's, it's not a normal distribution, it's not a normal curve, we can't use our Z tables. So we actually cannot answer this particular question without knowing the exact formula for this distribution. However, if you take a group of 30 people and get their mean pay, what is the probability that it will be greater than 23 euro? We can answer this, say can answer. Um, by using the CLT or the central limit theorem, so using that for short. Okay, so we said last time that the central limit theorem that if we take say a thousand samples of 30 people, we're going to end up with a um, normal distribution curve with the center. So the mean of the samples equals the mean of the population. So that means that we know that this value right here is 22.04 because that's the mean of the population. So it'll also be the mean of the samples. Also, we know that the standard deviation of the sample normal distribution is equal to the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of the sample size. So that means, I'll do it in white here, that on both sides, we're going to have a standard deviation here, which is going to be sigma x, and on this side also sigma x. And we know that sigma x is equal to sigma divided by the square root of n. So in this case, that's going to be 10.64 divided by the square root of 30, because 30 is our sample size. Uh, and that's the population standard deviation. So sigma x, if we put that in the calculator, is equal to 1.943, we'll say. Okay. Um, so now we have a normal distribution with a sample mean, and we have a, um, a standard deviation as well. So now we can start using our z-scores and our normal distribution uh, equations, okay? So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna say, scroll down, but still hopefully make some space. We're gonna do the probability of z being less than, I guess, 23 euro. Sorry, no, that, that's wrong. We should say the probability of x being less than 23 euro. Okay, so for that, we need to find um, the z score of 23. So we're going to say z is equal to 23 minus 22.04, which is the mean, divided by the standard deviation, which in this case is going to be 1.943. So that means our z value is going to be 0 0.489. 0 0.489 and um, actually I've just seen as well we're not looking for less than we're looking for greater than because it says um, what is the probability that their mean pay will be greater than 23 euro so anyway, z is equal to 0 0.489 so I'll scroll down hmm, I'll scroll across so yellow we're looking for the probability that z will be greater than 0 0.489 so just put that into a normal distribution curve there's our 0 0.489 which corresponds to the 23 euro and we want to find this probability here so we've been doing this in the last few videos that's going to be the same as saying 1 minus the probability of z less than 0 0.489 which is 1 minus this blue bit here yeah so um, we'll look up the standard normal table. So I'm not going to get the table up again on the screen. Um, but if you look into your tables, you're going to find that it's going to be 1 minus 0 0.6879. So our answer then is 0 0.3121. So that is the probability 
that um, when you take a group, I'll go back up to the question, that's the probability that if you take a group of 30 people and get their mean pay, that, the, that it'll be greater than 23 euro. So those are the sort of questions you can answer with the central limit theorem. You're a little bit um, more constrained than with a normal distribution. You can do a lot more with the normal distribution. Um, but the central limit theorem still works in some cases. So that's it for the central limit theorem for now. But it is going to come up again and again in... Uh, uh, we'll kind of see it come up again in the next video, which is the margin of error. So it'll come up in a way. So yeah, that's it for this video. We'll see you next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Share it with friends. And yeah, we'll see you next time.